and welcome to the Tofiki Olympics 2020. My name is Devon and I'm one of your hosts today and I'm joined by... Adam, your other host. And it's a beautiful day today out on the field. Our kawaii athletes are gathered to demonstrate astounding feats of cute athleticism. It's going to be a very kawaii day, isn't it, Adam? It certainly is. Our first event today is the plushie shot put. And our first athlete is Zani from Team Pom Pom Purin. Quick discussion with her baby Willie shot put there, hoping to beat her personal record today. <laughs> Good form and a fantastic throw from Zani. Simply remarkable, and clearly she's over the moon about it. She'll be going home very happy today. Certainly will. Now we have our very own Adam here with Team Mama Sheba and another Soda Blue plush here ready to be launched into oblivion. Let's see how this goes. Bit of a stumble there and oh, it's fallen a little short. It's not looking good. Career in tatters. It's Laska from Team Flan hoping to roll her way to victory with her Pomatan cupcake, a non-regulation size shot put. Good distance on that throw, but it doesn't look like a game winner. She's very upset about this. Pomatan's going to be in the doghouse tonight, I think. Next up we have Bobu for Team Hang Yudon. Just preparing with some flour there. Hang Yudon! And it's an astounding throw, perhaps the furthest we've ever seen in plushy shot put. Remarkable business from Bobu there. And here we have Paul from Team Pickle Rick, who previously took home the silver for Ukraine in 2010. You know they say he ate 40 pickles in preparation for today's event. And that's good form, the use scan's gone very far there. Excellent stuff from Paul. Clearly very proud of his performance. The crowd are loving it, and rightly so. In third place we have Zani taking home the bronze for Team Pom Pom Purin. Beautiful original poop there. And in second place we have Paul from Team Pickle Rick taking home the mint Tofu Q poop. And first place goes to Bobby. I can't believe it. This really means a lot guys. It means a lot. It really does. Thank you. Our second event in the Tofuki Olympics is the Donut Jump. And our first athlete in the Donut Jump is Rob from Team Bats Maru, famously competed in the Nationals last year. And Rob says this is a, a new t-shirt he's wearing today, so... Let's hope that works out well for him. It's a good form on the first jump. Elegance. You can see the grace in his jump. Oh, and that's a graze. That's confirmed contact with the donut there, ending a decade-long career in the high jump. Next, we have Harley from Team Jin Baisan. His previous attempt got him 4.5 million views on TikTok. His fans are very excited to see his performance today. And he's poised for success. And as we can see, these jumps are excellent. Good leg work. We've got excellent confident jumps here. We're going for a big one. Oh, and that's a graze, knocked them off balance. What a gentleman picking those dogs back up. He'll be celebrating this evening. Yeah, that's a good showing for Harley. So here we have Bobby from Team Hang Yudon, fresh off his success in the shot put. Here we can see he's preparing his fingers in some sort of ancient ritual. The, uh, the pump in the sneakers, getting that ready. Got to get that extra bounce. They say it's the secret to his success. It's a good first jump. Cause for celebration. Good second jump. Very confident strides here from Bobby. He is flying over oh, these donuts. Bit of a wobble there, bit of a wobble. Bit of interference from the adjudicator. Bit of interference from Bobby. That's against regulation. But he made the jump anyway. Judicator interfering again. Bobu checking the... Oh! 
And that's a tragic loss for Bobby. Tragic loss. Zani is back from Team Pom Pom and hoping to beat her personal best today of one. Let's see how she goes. She's cleared the first hurdle. She's in the running, but let's see, can she do it? Two, she's cleared it. She's beat her personal best. But who knows what will happen next? Astonishing performance here. Oh, and it's a graze. She's down. Buckaroo. But she's still in high spirits. Going home with her own personal gold. Here we have Wee from Team Fashim. Her entire career is riding on today's results after a shaky mid-season. Her family have um, travelled out specifically to show support today. Let's hope it doesn't end in tragedy. Good start. Confident first jump. And the confidence increases as the Tower of Donuts does. Nervous giggle there, let's see. Oh! And she's fallen! Absolutely heartbreaking. Devastating to see. You hate to see it. You really do. What a way to go. I'm sad. It's not all doom and gloom though, as our third and final event is the Pocky Javelin, and first is Zanny. With the power of Biscuit, let's do this! <laughs> what a powerful throw! I think that may be Zanny's finest work yet in the Javelin. Fantastic. Next is our very own Adam again with Team Mamashiba, known for his technical abilities and precise calculations. This is almond taste hockey. Uh, it's the best type of hockey there is. The almonds are going to give it extra speed. It's a good run up. A bit of a stumble and it's fallen perhaps a bit short of the gold he was hoping for today. Next year I'll stick to commentating. Maybe that's for the best. So here's Paul from Team Pickle Rick. Took home the silver for Azerbaijan 24 years ago. He requested to throw a pickle today, but was unfortunately not allowed. This is what I think of Pocky. <laughs> Good run up. Excellent run up. What a throw! When so far our mobile cameraman had to travel to capture the footage of the javelin landing. Absolutely astonishing. Here's Lasker again for Team Flan. Very proudly exhibiting her Pocky there. Like Sakura in the wind, my Pocky stick is gonna fly. We've got a very ambitious run up. The Flans would be proud of the legwork. It's a good throw, confident throw. It's hard to see, but we've got some good distance on that one. Excellent stuff from Lasker. And here's Bobby from Team Hangidon, who says he's got the winning strategy for his performance today. Pocky gives you enough energy to run 100 meters, so I'm gonna eat half of this. Excellent starting run up. There. But it's a great throw, and the Pocky's made it in one piece. Unlike Bobby, taking a bit of a tumble. He seeks help from the deities. What a day. Here's Lasko in third place, taking home the bronze poop for Team Flan. Sure to be a party tonight. And Adam's here taking home second place, the mint poop. An absolutely fantastic display today in the javelin. And in first place it's Paul, perhaps perhaps our strongest player in the Tofuki Olympics this year. Yeah, all those pickles paid off, wouldn't you say? They really did. What an amazing event. Our athletes, they really outdid themselves. I agree, some amazing performances on display. And I think we can say that the Olympics truly are saved.